hello friends so in this video tutorial of DAX we will understand about calculated column and calculated measure in power bi DAX how we can use them so calculated column we use calculated column when we get output row wise and it take up memory it will take more memory as compared to your calculated measure so it will add new column and there we will find out the answer on the other hand calculated measure will give the output as an aggregate and it will not add any column and take little memory so we will not have to make a separate column for that so let's see first of all in excel how we can make it so to create in excel we already have a file where we have product price and units so if we want to add the sales here i will put sales here and then put enter I will put equal to and just multiply this price with our unit we will get our total sales and if we want our total sales we have to do use auto sum and that we add we will get this answer so this is our total sale on the on the other hand like if we do not need we want aggregate we can use this formula sum product so if you we'll put this sum product here and double click and just take this one array and multiply this array with our unit array and press ctrl shift enter so we will get the answer same here so this is the way we can do this add this column here and if we want to remove this we can delete this and this is our file now we will do this in our excel we just save this file and close this and open our power bi screen here and just add this file here and to add this file i just go to get excel workbook and we will take this book file here open it and after opening it we have to load our table here and that table we have some information like we have information such as your product price and units i will load this and when it is loaded we will find this in our field like whatever column it have it will show in our field like table and it will feel like price product and units then i will go to data and first of all we will do find out the sales here so i will click over this and add a new column here and when i will add this new column i have to give it a name so i will give it a name like sales equal to then i will take table price and multiply it with table units and thus press enter or write arrow key this so we have a separate column added so it is your calculated column type thing here so we have sales and we find out our total sales here on the other hand if you want to have our measure here calculate measure we go to tables and then i will go to new measures and when this new measure will come we will give this some name like i will give it the name total and after giving this total i will use the formula which is sumx formula which is similar to your sum sum product and then i will open then i will put this inverted comma then i will take table then comma then i will take table again at this time i will take price and then i will multiply this with table units and thus press this right arrow key here so now we have two total sales and total two column here but we are only seeing his total sales sales here not total here and both have the same answer like suppose like if we will make some report if we will go to this report option and we will create two card one card and second card and in one card i will put this total and in the second i will put sales now you will see the answer is the same so it means like one we have added a column and another one we have used the measure so measure we don't we have the same answer what we have in that uh, like in our calculated column also so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching